Okay, folks, let me get right to it, right? Look, this recipe right here is like super easy. You already done seen it. Listen, we're doing a flying Dutchman, right? And right now, it's all over social media. Everybody looking it up, how, how to do it and all of that. When you see what we do here, it's really nothing to it. It's about seasoning, you know, your sauce. And you know what? I'm going to tell you this to all my people out there that are doing that, uh, that keto diet. This right here is keto friendly. Let's get it. Okay, so I'm getting ready to get right into it, right? It's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? Check this out. Listen, we got beef. You got to put some seasoning on it, right? You can actually make this if you would like. You can do it under, uh, you know, make it with like ground turkey, even ground chicken. You know what I mean? Uh, just super simple to make. You need an onion, cheese, then you want to make your sauce, right? So listen, first thing I'm going to do is I'm getting ready to preheat my cast iron because we want to have heat, you know, throughout, right? And don't forget, folks, it starts in the center and then spreads out. Now, let me go ahead and make some room right here. And don't forget, like, if you guys want to have the printable recipe, it'll be on my website, which is smoking and grilling with and that's W I T A B.com. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna start with my beef, right? My ground beef. Look, this is 80, an 80 20 blend. I'm gonna set this over here off, off to the side, right? I just want to form a ball. Notice I'm not finna like just compact it. I don't want to like roll it all tight. This is it right there. I just want to feel the weight, and I got it. So listen, I always like to get myself a piece of, you know, parchment paper, put this like in the center, and then we're gonna do a spread. So I'm gonna set this over here. You know what, I'll go ahead and do it right now. So I'm gonna be using my press. You guys see that? You know, you just wanna get yourself something heavy. You can use the back of a pot, however you wanna do it. You know what I mean? Just take it, and then we're just gonna spread it out. But don't forget, once we put it on this hot skillet, we're gonna get a little bit of that shrinkage, right? So I just want it to be even. I don't want to do it like lopsided where this is higher and that's like, you know, thin. We just want to make sure that this has been spread evenly. I'll set that over there. And there, we got a patty. Don't forget, it's going to shrink, folks. Okay, so once you have your patties, you just want them a nice thickness, however you like them to be, right? You can go super thin, thick, or whatever, right? So now I'm getting ready to prep my onion. Now, the Flying Dutchman, right? For those of you guys that don't know, listen, it doesn't use any bread. So the bread is gonna be a slice of the onion along with some cheese. You know what I mean? I got all kind of cheese, you know what I mean? You guys can do whatever you would like to. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a cut right down the middle. Like that, all right? I'll peel this outer later off in a minute. But right now, I just want to show you, we got an even, right? So if you have a mandolin that will cut you a thick slice, something that's a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch, then use that. Now, I like to go ahead and get a thick slice, you know, for my bun, right? So we'll pull this outer layer off right here, and that'll be it. Now, the reason I left this on right here, the parchment paper, because I want to show you guys, when I set that right there, that's gonna be our bun. But don't forget, once we put the patty on, we are gonna get a little bit of shrinkage. But that's what we wanna have right there. Now we do the other side, right? So I'm gonna still use this same onion. See if I can get a better cut than, you know, last time, right? So just cut it down like that. It kinda like, gotta look at it almost like it's looking down the side of a firearm, you know? So we take this, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this outer end. All right, we take that, look at that, and then we put it right there. Now for me, I like the beef, and I know it's going to shrink. It might not shrink to this exact size, but that's okay. You got to do it how you want to do it. I like the 80-20. And like I say, if you're on keto, this is your dream right here. Got me a little oil. I'm going to put just a little bit in here, just like that, right? I'm going to go ahead and just make sure I got it all throughout the center. Got that ready? Drop this down like this, right? Then we don't even touch it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. Now, for those of you guys that wanna go ahead and add a little bit of sugar, you can just sprinkle a little white sugar on the top to enhance the flavor of the yellow onion. You know what I mean? Just to bring out a little bit of the sweetness, but I don't, I do it just like this. Now, while that's cooking, you know what I mean? While we going ahead and caramelizing one side, now I'm gonna go ahead and make my my little sauce, you know? And this is like pretty, pretty close to what 
in and out does. You know what I mean? There's nothing but a burger sauce, you guys. You know, mayo, mustard. You guys know the rest, relish. You gotta have that. I make it all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and just dash it in no particular order, but don't forget, you can go by my website. I'll have the full ingredient list in there, and you guys can go from there. Ain't no burger sauce. You ask me, you can't have a burger sauce without sweet relish. You know what I mean? Now, you guys talk to me down in the comment section below. You guys do that deal relish? I know some people do it, especially in these potato salad. You know what I mean? Uh, but I have yet to find one that I like like that. I like mine a little bit on the sweet side. But when you start seeing it, and if you ever had the luxury of going to uh, in and out this is what you probably end up, you know, getting out of them little packets. Always ask for a little extra sauce anyway. Okay, so I want you guys to talk to me down in the comment section below if you have a better way of doing what I'm getting ready to do. I usually get under here like that, and then I put the plate over this way, and then I flip it. You see? I go like that. And then I take it, we come back, and then we do it just like that. Now, same thing. This way, over. If it come apart, don't worry, because I got a trick for you. Not really a trick, just the way they do it. We're gonna put the cheese on here and that's gonna keep the integrity right. So we just add that like that. Make sure we got it flat. And then we let it cook. All right, so once you get them the way you, you'd like to get them right, you wanna go ahead and add yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and put some cheese on this one right here. All right, we just put that on there. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let it melt on its own. I'm gonna do these just like in and out do, but right now I'm just gonna drop it in. Move that over there. Grab this other one. Now I want you guys to pay attention. You see right here, I'm gonna be using my burger rub, right? This is from my Level Up series. This right here is where I'm gonna get my little flavor from. Now, some of you guys are gonna say, hey B, how come you didn't just mix your, you know, your patty, work it in? But this, I'm doing it just the way everybody else would do it, especially if you guys been in and out. This is how they do it, they put it on top, right? Now, because that, my product is a low sodium product, now I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a pinch of salt, just to enhance the flavor, and that's it. Now, if I would like to, I don't like always like searing or anything like that, or frying with, uh, with black pepper, because look, it'll make it like super dark, but I love the flavor, so that's about all I'm gonna use. Okay, so I'm about ready to flip. Now, how I know when to flip, I can look at my burgers. I don't know if you guys can see. You can see where the cook side is starting to rise its way up, right? Eventually, if I left it like this, it would just cook its way through. We don't want to do that, right? Now, I'm gonna give you guys a little level up. If you want a little extra flavor, this might seem a little weird to you guys, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna go ahead and get under this one right here. I'm gonna move that off to the side and check this out. All right, we just add a little bit of this mustard right here. I'm giving you a heads up, folks. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and drop that just like you saw. For those of you guys that be going to in and out you should know about this already. But if you don't know, now you know. So now, once you got it about 95% of the way done, just go ahead and add your cheese on there and you can let it just cook the rest of the way. Now you cook your burger how you like it. Some like a little bit of pink, some like it well done. For me, I like a little bit of that pink. Then I'm gonna get myself a plate and we are gonna go ahead, I'm gonna remove these and then we are finna go ahead and build. I'm gonna move that over there to the center. Put this one right here on top of it. Look at that right there, folks. We Then we'll go ahead and put this on top of the onion. We just add this right here. Try to get this up on the center. All right, let me clean this off. I sure hate to waste some good old cheese, you know. Go underneath. Now just drop him right over the top. Now you guys are asking how come I didn't put that, see, you know, my, uh, my secret sauce on there. Really, that's more like a dipping sauce, you know what I mean? We pick this thing up and we dip, or you add a little bit on there, or however you want to do it. You put it on right now, it'd be hard for it to stay upright. I'd have to put two picks in it to get a picture of it and all of that. But you gotta do it however you want to. But you see, we got it here. 
I'm gonna transfer this into a ramekin, you know, a nice size ramekin so I can do a dunk and I'm finna eat, folks. But look at that, that's fire. Now let's see what the hype is about. Whew, look at this right here. When I say it's cheesy, it's cheesy. I'm not finna over talk this. You know what? Let's get down. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, boy. This is him. If you like the onions, never mind, I got something on my mouth. Don't worry, I'm gonna take these gloves off. And we're gonna get in here. Oh man, I know I had stuff all over my mouth. Everybody was like laughing at me. All I can say is, listen, even for myself, this double patty, I would probably cut that in half and then just eat that. You know what I mean? Now, listen, this is the Flying Dutchman. If you guys look it up, it's all over the internet right now like it's something new. This is part of the in and outs uh, secret menu. You know they got a secret menu with about 13 or 14. Might even be more items on there. But this right here is the icing on the cake, folks. Now, like I said, if I'd have put this on there, it would have been sliding and doing all that kind of stuff. I like to keep it real on my channel. I don't fake no funk. This right here is fire, folks. Now, listen, talk to me down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and tell everybody out here. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm finna pour myself a tall glass of that Kool-Aid, and that's great, folks. And I'm out. Peace.